Reassembling the coasting enricher valve is done as follows. First goes the vent elbow and the inlet elbow. Then the little o-ring goes in and that o-ring is actually a formed part. It's flat on one side and round on the other. The flat side goes into the carburetor body into that little recess. Then we insert the diaphragm and make sure that it's seated in its groove. And now comes the tricky part. Placing the spring on top of the diaphragm and the fitting on top of the spring and make sure that the little arm that goes over the o-ring is there. We then press this into place and get it down. It doesn't really have any feel to it. You can just see that it's in the right spot. And then we get our thumb firmly over it and line everything up and replace the bracket. Make sure the bracket goes over the little nubs that are on the elbows and then insert the screws. Give them a turn or two to make sure they're started. And then run those screws home. Get them down. At this point you can let go and get those tightened properly. We're going to reassemble the needle and the slide assembly and insert them into the carburetor body. The slide assembly is offset slightly. You can see that here is your vacuum transfer hole and on the back there are two dimples. The dimples go towards the air inlet. So take your either your stock needle and insert it or your aftermarket needle or your stock needle with its washers. If you're, if you're doing the washers, hold the needle like this with the washers up against the head and put your thumb against it and then make sure that the diaphragm is up or extended and then insert the needle into the slide assembly and let it drop down then double check and make sure that your washers didn't fall out. Then put your finger in and hold the needle firmly so that it can't sag. And then again with the dimples that way towards the air intake, let the slide guide everything into place and that needle should properly enter the needle jet and drop down. And at this point you can start to seat the diaphragm gently into its groove. We need to put this in now and notice that it's got legs on it and we want to make sure that one of the spaces between the legs goes over the hole. We don't want to obstruct the hole with a leg. So drop it down in there, wobble it around a little bit and double check everything. And that looks good. Then take the spring and put it over gently. Then take the cap, put the cap on the spring, and lower the cap into place. Now, if you've got the diaphragm properly seated, when you put the cap down, you will feel and be able to wiggle it around a little bit and you'll feel that everything is in the proper place. Then put your thumb over, run these screws down, And then each screw needs to be just slightly torqued 
and all they need it from from seeded is a, about a quarter of a turn or so until that just stops and a little nudge beyond that there okay the only thing we haven't put back is the drain screw in the bottom so we'll go ahead and pop that in right now this is not a delicate assembly as you can see and so we're going to give that a good tweak to make sure that it's seated and we won't have fuel dripping out the bottom of the carb and the carburetor is all back together I look on my bench here there's no extra parts left over everything is in place everything works that's about all it takes hey guys hope you enjoyed the video it was a bit of an amateur's production I don't script anything as I was going through it I noticed that uh, there were a few things that I wanted to mention during the video but I forgot so I'm going to add them at the end here and uh, so take a look at these things a couple of hints and stuff like that oh and all this junk here this is the stuff that you need to put a Kickstarter on so uh, Stay tuned, might have another video. As you're disassembling your carburetor, you're going to need a place to keep your bits and pieces. You can throw them all over the bench like I do, but a better solution is to go out and get a little Plano box that's compartmentalized that you can safely store everything in while you're disassembling and before you clean and then after you clean. Makes it a little bit easier to keep track of stuff. Throughout this video you've heard me talk about being gentle with stuff and taking good care of things. The uh, slide assembly and the diaphragm are probably the most expensive part in the carburetor and uh, if you tear the diaphragm or, or cut the edge of it or something nasty happens to the diaphragm the carb's not going to work too well, your bike's not going to run well. Here's probably the easiest way to take care of the diaphragm while it's off the carburetor. I mentioned a couple of times that the JIS screws that are in the cap and in the bowl should be replaced with cap screws, stainless cap screws. I still think it's a good idea, but what you didn't see were washers under those screws, and of course you should always place a washer under any screw, especially on this cap seeing as how it's plastic and everything so when you go and get these things make sure you get the mating washers and use them